Fly me to the moon and let me Killed it. Hello, beautiful people. So today I want to discuss Squid Game. I want to talk about everything that there is to talk about with Squid Game, all of the juicy spoiler, the games, the good players, the bad players. I'm looking at you, Sangwoo. I was debating doing full out commentary on this episode by episode, but after episode one, I had to binge it. It wasn't even a matter of choice. I had to binge it. So how we're gonna do this, we're gonna break it down into plot lines, games, and then characters. That's what I wanna talk about. Fair warning when it comes to pronunciations of these characters, I am the worst. I am ridiculous. I cannot be taken seriously. I'm gonna try my absolute best, but I am atrocious when it comes to pronouncing things. Like even my own English language. <laughs> I can't pronounce things. So with the first plot line, the games, I don't want to talk too much about it in this section just because I am going to have that dedicated section for the games. The games were nuts. Absolutely, ridiculously nuts. I found it interesting too how they gave them the choice. They gave them the option to come back and play. I was happy that they actually gave them that option because it says a lot to do with each of the characters and I liked episode 2 in particular because you do get that background on each character and see how they're financially um, bad. <laughs> Call me wordsmith. I felt so bad for Ali in particular. Like, that was so not right. That was so unfair. What the f was that? His boss was just like up and playing solitaire in the middle of work. Ali was done dirty by the world and I'm upset about it. When it came down to the thugs team, like the evils or whatever, and they started the riot in episode four, I was like, I can't wait to see you die. When it came to Miss Chaotic, <laughs> I'm gonna call her Miss Chaotic. When it came down to Miss Chaotic, I had mixed feelings about her. I thought she was hilarious. <laughs> like, I kind of love it, but also you're kind of annoying, but I kind of love it. I think when it came down to relationship building though, my favorites were the two girls, forgive me again, I, I can't pronounce her name. I want to say Say... Say Biak. Say Biak. Huh. Say Biak. Say Biak? Oh. Her and that girl. Um, Loki kind of shifts them, like a little bit. I kind of got a vibe. Kind of? But I loved their relationship for the few episodes they had, which is crazy because they only knew each other for a few episodes. Like, she was just introduced, I think, in episode four. So, yeah, it's kind of insane how much I really loved the bond that they built and how it was taken away so quickly. I also love the relationship between our main dude, Gihan. Gihan? And the old guy, the old sneaky bastard. They were so sweet. It was honestly, it felt to me like a real life grandfather and son, grandchild. I would say, I'd say son, grand grandfather and their son. So then father and son. Yeah. And obviously, at first, I liked the relationship between Sangwu and Ali. <clears throat> I saw one comment, I think, in my commentary saying like, oh girl, you're not prepared for episode 6, and I was like, why? <laughs> now I know why. It was just so emotional because of how many characters there were that we love, and that it had to come from their best friend, or whatever partner that they were closest to, like, had to be the one to kill them, essentially. It's just, oh, brutal! All in all, the main plot. Fantastic. The one plot line that made me feel creeped out every way, shape, or form was the doctor. Organ harvesting. Is that what it's called? The organ har harvest. The organ harvesting. Is that what it's called? Organ. That plot line made me shit my pants. I was so freaking disgusted. Every time I came on the screen, I was like, oh. but it made it that much more disturbing. Oh, disturbing. That's a good word. We're gonna use that for the rest of this. I don't know if y'all thought this, but I definitely did. <laughs> but I wanna give some major props to that scene of them chasing the doctor through the building. The camera work, 
of like following him through all these staircases and everything and then the squid guy that's behind him too and the music and everything it was just so good I don't know, I really liked that scene. Other subplot that was really interesting was obviously the cop, the detective. Um, can't remember his name, forgive me. I loved seeing the back end of the squid people and what they were doing and seeing how they lived their lives, which was really sad. I found it really interesting, he was looking for his brother and everything, and I kept thinking the whole time, I was like, oh, his brother's probably dead by now. He was probably one of the first to go. It was so sad when it was revealed that his brother was the, the guy in the black mask. What? Freaking shoots him and he probably dies. Obviously, it's not like confirmed, confirmed, but probably. I know he shot him in the shoulder, but like he went down to the sea and you know, I don't know. He can't really swim like that, I don't think. So now the VIP plot. The one plot. I wasn't a fan of. I don't know about y'all, but I personally think that was so unnecessary. It was so unnecessary because it didn't do anything for the plot. Like, it, di it didn't do anything. You could take the VIPs out of the story and you would still have the same story. It just felt so hammy, you know, so hammy. Oh, oh yeah, look at them go. I'm gonna bet all my money on 69 because 69. <laughs> Am I right? Ew, please never let me do an impression again. Now, let's talk about the games. First game, Fuck Me Sideways, right? I lost it. I think the first game got everybody hooked into the show because that was one of the best games, in my opinion. That freaky ass doll, I'm telling you, if I see one person dressed as that freaky ass doll for Halloween, I'm gonna knock a bitch out. <laughs> kidding, kidding. I don't think I would have won. I think I would have died. Just blew me away. Why are you mowing? Uh, what are you doing right now? You know trees are good for the environment, right? Second game was Honeycomb. He got the freaking umbrella and sang woo, little shit. Didn't say anything. <laughs> when he started licking his and everybody else started licking their stamp. It was so funny. <laughs> Gihan's lick game, 10 out of 10. Tug of War was one of my favorites. I loved watching Tug of War. Ooh, the fact that it was their team that had an old guy and I think two or three girls, two or three girls, um, and then the other team had like younger men. So they felt like they were at such a disadvantage. They obviously were at a disadvantage in that respect, but then the old guy. It was just so interesting to see because I genuinely was like, how are they gonna win this? Like, how are they gonna win this? Because yeah, they are at the strength disadvantage. How are they gonna do this? So it was so interesting to see how there is a way and there are ways to beat it when you're at a disadvantage. Next game, saddest of them all. Um, why did they do that to us? Don't know, couldn't tell you. It literally destroyed my life. It was interesting too how they gave them a bit more flexibility with this one because they were able to pick whatever game they wanted and even more so switch in the middle if they wanted to because like the one thug dude, like he switched when he was losing and I'm like, really? Really, you're gonna allow that? Okay. <laughs> I think this one was definitely more so to show what kind of people these players are and some true colors Sangwoo Some true colors were really shown in this episode When it came to our main guy with the old guy I felt so sad because I knew, I'm like, I know this old guy isn't making it which it turns out he did, but we'll get to that later. And then yeah, at the end of the day, the old guy did end up giving him all his marbles. So to me, that was such a powerful scene. I was crying. And then I was also crying at my girlfriends. Hello. That was so oh. Obviously there's Sang Woo and Ali. And how dirty he did him is beyond 
the amount of anger I can display. Sangwoo can lick a pig's asshole for all I care. The next game was also one of my favorites. I loved the bridge. Again, I wish we didn't see so much of the VIPs, but life is life. I loved how Miss Chaotic <laughs> kept her promise in killing that mother her killing him but also killing herself in this game what a power move love her love her for that you can say what you want about her but fantastic forgive me if i'm wrong because i probably am but i had the idea could they not freaking take those bulbs that were on the side because there was like a lot of light bulbs on the side could they not unscrew the light bulbs and just like I don't know that was an idea I had on how to beat that game but nobody was doing that so I was like maybe maybe you can't do that and then the freaking finale obviously it was between Sangwoo and our guy and obviously we hate Sangwoo with all of our might by this point that we're like rooting for our guy not too much to say about that other than my thoughts on the finale so we can talk about the finale now actually let's not talk about the finale let's talk about the characters first because i have a lot of thoughts on each of the characters so our main guy love him he was fantastic i was rooting for him from start to finish at first he annoyed me a little bit because i felt like you know, that was definitely his own reckoning on why he's in debt, you know? Like, he gambled. I just feel like him, he wasted his money, and that's why he's in debt. So for him, at first, I was like, mm, like, I like you. You're a likable guy, but stop being so dumb with your money, you know? But then as the show continued, I started liking him more and more, you know? Obviously, he's a good person. He cared about the people around him. He wasn't so keen on surviving like he wanted to survive but at the same time um he didn't want to kill anybody so that's respectable <laughs> overall loved him he was so sweet old man excuse you loved him from start to finish until realizing he was the one behind everything i was i loved him i loved him so much he was so charismatic, so sweet, so precious. Um, I was sad when I thought he died, but I did take note that they didn't show them shooting him, but I didn't think it was gonna come into play later. I really didn't. I was like, I think that was just a respectable thing that they didn't show him getting shot. I feel like I still love him though. <laughs> I feel like I do, because he was just so sweet. I'm like, how can I hate you? Like, I don't know. Our baddie, our baddie, love her. I didn't care for her too much in the beginning because, I mean, she did rob our main guy, but then I was like, it's probably for a reason though. Like, she's probably, like, going through it as well, which she was, and she got screwed over too, so it's like, oh, okay. She really grew on me as the episodes went on, you know? She minded her own business. She didn't want to do anything malicious to people. She was, um... Yeah, she's just doing her. She's also sculpted perfectly, like, excuse you. Sang Woo, Mr. Sang Woo. Let's talk about him. He's a little bitch. He's a sewer rat. He can eat a poopy asshole. Hate you, hate you, Sang Woo, hate you. It's so sad because I was rooting for him. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? He was one of the people that first helped our guy. Like, him and Ali both helped him in the first game. So I was like, sick, Sang Woo was gonna be an amazing asset to the team. When they made their team, I was like, Sang Woo's a smart one. So he's gonna be really great, a great asset. No, just kidding. It threw me off at first when he didn't tell them about the honeycomb game. I was like, Sang Woo? I'm like, bro, you know what the game is. And he was about to say something to our main guy, and he did it! And then he just did it, and I was like, what? So that tipped me off immediately, but at the back of my head, I was like, okay, maybe he'll feel bad about it later. Maybe he has, like, a better reason for it. Maybe he had, like, a bigger plan in mind. No. No. 
he's just a ball sack. And then episode six happened where he became dustier than my fridge. <laughs> dustier than my fridge. My fridge isn't even dusty. Why did I say that? He screwed Ollie over so bad, so bad. And I hate it too that they play with you because for a moment, you think that he actually didn't screw him over because when he gave him the thing of marbles, I was like, well, marbles. I was like, oh, okay. So he gave it to him. That's sweet. That's awesome. And then it's like, no, just kidding. He had the other one hidden. Literally, go yourself. And when Ollie realized that he did him dirty, oh, <laughs> so sad. Afterwards, he gets more dirtier. He pushed the guy from the bridge game when it was not necessary to do that. He just did it. And obviously, he killed our girl and I was like, okay, you're done. You're literally done. Ali, obviously, he's precious. I love him. He's adorable. So sweet. He kept saying, thank you, sir. And I was like, I'm in love. I love you. He was always just so thankful too. And he has just like the most nicest smile on his face. Oh. The fact that he was able to carry the team having not a full set of fingers, insanity. Does that make sense? Having not a full set of fingers. Can I English? No, I can't. Who else is there? Detective. I liked him a lot, but he wasn't like my favorite favorite. I wanted him to survive because I'm like, you've been through enough. You deserve to survive. But no, I don't think he did. The ending. Okay, the ending. The last episode. How do I feel about the last episode? The last episode, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Okay, at first I was mad at our main guy that he was just gonna quit altogether the game when he was about to win. Would have been for nothing in my eyes. Like, I understand where he was coming from, that he was trying to make a point, trying to make a stance and everything. And he just wanted them to go home and just forget about it and didn't want to take the blood money. But at the end of the day, it's like, dude, if you take that money though, at least you can help people. At least it wouldn't have been for nothing. But yeah, I like to help the girl's brother and then Sang Lu, even though again he's a piece of shit, but the mom didn't do anything to deserve misery. <laughs> so, you know, to help his mom too, because I felt bad for his mom. Um, I was like, yeah, like win that money. It would have been for nothing in my eyes, unless they would have done something huge with him quitting and then Sang Lu quitting with him. I don't know. I don't know. And then, yeah, and then he didn't do anything with the money for a while, which also annoyed me but i understand where he was coming from again like it was like blood money to him he didn't want anything to do with the games and to forget about it like he was so destroyed by it so i get it but you know i was still like is this, this is how it ends <laughs> after he met with the old man and he revealed himself i was like <laughs> And then, yeah, and then after that, he ended up helping the brother and mom, and I was happy with that. I'm like, yes, finally. And he got that wild ass hair. Why did he get that hair? I don't know. The ending ending kind of threw me off a bit is what I didn't really like because it's like he's going to go back to the games, but then, but then are you, I know obviously he's going to try to destroy the games, but then how are you going to try and destroy the games exactly? You're just one man. You don't have an army behind you. I, I just don't know. Those are my thoughts on Squid Game. Let me know all of your beautiful thoughts on Squid Game. I'm sure there's much more to dive into that I didn't get to, but I hope I went through everything as much as I could. Yeah, if that makes sense. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Until next time, you beautiful freaks. Mwah.